doing another video again today. This is Moon Lake Recreation Area. Come down the road from the south. You come up this road right here. Coming from the north, north 29, south 29. Come up this road, you make a left or a right and come up this way. All right, this is Moon Lake Recreation Area. When you come down the road, there's a, there's a Y split. You just stay to your left to come all the way down here. And then this is the entrance of it. It goes from pavement to a kind of rocky material, but nothing crazy. There's some potholes in the beginning, but. chairs and benches there now wow. oh you used to be able to you should have drive back there yeah no we used to be it we used to be able to back the truck up right to the edge right here and we just fish off right here they put this stuff here you now yeah it's still cool though still can go fishing yeah, yeah no this you used to be able to ride right around the lake but now that this is different now Kind of good that they spend a lot of they've just been spending money on the on, on the recreation. None of this was here. Well, we got guys out on the boats and stuff. Some pretty good fishing. All different kinds. I don't know all the species of fish in there though, but I'm gonna go back up this way. I like that spot. That spot was cool. Nice shady. Trees and everything. What mom? side of the lake where they cut off see you got like parking over here it's very small yeah yeah there's like these little cutouts that you did. yeah I kind of like the way it was before
here now. Was that Griff Griff Ford Pavilion? It says. Yeah. That's pretty good. I spot that. You got like wedding ring there. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Plenty of space for parking. They definitely did a lot of work over here. Cause I don't remember any of this being. Like
get CJ out and let her go to the bathroom. She's probably has to go. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Had to let the dog go to the bathroom real fast. All right, so we just came back from the group camping. I like that because those, I mean, that two spots there, definitely can get an RV back there if you wanted to and park it in the shade. Um, that was pretty cool. So let's go across the road and see what uh, this is just as parking. So uh, I guess they're working on the, the parking of it. Definitely doing a lot of work over there. It's definitely getting fixed up. Little I guess. What's the Pavilion area. No winter maintenance, no water. So, yeah, so that means they, they, ain't, they don't plow this or anything. You're on your own. If you choose to uh, come here during the winter. I mean that that's one that's two I'm sorry uh, that's one of them um I don't see any maps in the box well, there's, yeah there's only maps on the thing it's not mm. so I mean there's definitely shaded though let me go Molly you want to go check see if there's a map for me come on let's see there's a little sign thing over here yeah, there's no maps in the box. Uh, kind of give you an idea. Down over here in the camping area. Oh, camping area, sorry. That little circle thing we just went through, this is the camping area. Then there's the boat ramp and everything there. So here's the sites. When they first came in, no, when we first came in, that's Moon Lake 1. There's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven campsites. Please, can we just go to 
Uh, oh, oh, wait, there's, yeah, there's campsites. These permit, when, when you email them, you should, so it gives you all the information you want to know from Friday, 18. All that information right there. Go ahead and pause the video and take a screenshot of it so you know. But carry in, carry out your garbage. There's no uh, garbage drop stuff here. I haven't seen anything, so it's carry in, carry out. Well, that's all. Hey, Dad. That yeah, what's going on? There's all the camp rules and everything. Did you know that you um, there's a whole bunch of them. Pause it and take a picture of it all. Well, that's that's it. Yeah, these are uh, displaced. These are displaced camping or free camping or you know how you want to call it. It's carry in, carry out stuff. You just out of here by three and all that. You call the number. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, let's get back in the truck. So we missed the first one. There was somebody down there already. I don't want to, you know, creep up on them or anything like that. But this is what this is. What site is this, Molly? Moon Moon Lake Two. It was. So you got a nice picnic area over here. You got your pit, your little site for your tent thing. It's pretty cool. That's some looks like there's some porta potties way in the back yeah, over there. Two All right, let's hop in the truck. Let's go uh, see if we can find some. It's another campsite. So they, they said there was 11 of them. All right, yeah. There's 11 campsites here. Yeah. 11. 11. Uh, they. I don't remember ever this being like this. We right? didn't even drive down here. Well, unless you did by yourself. I did with the girl with the uh, fishing. If you see campsite, call it out, okay? What was that? Restrooms that way. Oh, oh, we're not going that way. Well, it seems like the campsites are really far spread out. Like, yeah, that, uh, they're, they're very, very park private. I, I don't, I or really don't know. <laughs> I thought that might be a house. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see it. Is this. Oh, this is the, we might be leaving onto the main road. Yeah, that's right. right. Okay, hold on. Yeah, that's reverse. definitely a house. Alright, well, we're not going to reverse because I'm just going to schwing the Yui. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a house. <laughs>
Look at this one. This one's huge. Number Moon Link 6. You definitely get like a full size RV in there. A little tent area and everything. Huh. These are all free. Yep. Carry in, carry on stuff. Look at this one too. Number 7. A little rock wall over there and everything. Nice. Seven, you said, Mom. Yeah. All right, you gotta, you gotta look for the signs, okay? You gotta tell me. Okay. What's this one? Moon, eight. Moon. Moon Lake Eight yeah. campsite. Yeah. Honestly, they're all really nice. They are, right? Yeah. Yeah, but where's the entrance to that one to get into? Down by. Oh, here. down there between the it's trees. It's very narrow, yeah. Oh yeah, it is narrow. I mean, you could park here. You wouldn't be able to bring your vehicle. Yeah. Over there. Not very shady though, but it's up there, kind of private though. When you put, put your vehicle right here, and but then you got this whole meadow thing over here. Run around and catch butterflies. I just like that they're not on top of each other. No, they're very spaced out, a lot yeah. of space. For most campsites, they are on top of each other. Yeah, really like Francis Slocum, they did some work there, and they they they're like. Somebody farted. You can definitely smell it. Okay, <laughs> They're like even, on top of each other. Even when we're camping at Ricketts Glen and Promised Land, like everything's on yeah. top of each other. It's a lot. All right, huh. so that's pretty much the campsites here for that. It's very small, but very. Now we're headed towards the boat ramp area, towards the lake area, which is fishing area. Well, that's that's. I mean, they're, they're they're small, but I mean it's a small area, but it's quiet. And there's like what one two. Three people here? Yeah. That's really it. See, that's Camp Site 1. Yeah, okay, they have a nice big RV down there. Or a pop up yeah. I wonder what's down there. That's the lake. You think you can drive to it? I'm going to that right now. No, I'm just saying, like, it was like open. I think you can drive down it. That, that was a steep ass hill, though. But there is an incline coming up here, so you know, RVers, trailer, the ones that pull the trailers and everything, the fifth wheels and everything. There is, there's a, there is a couple sites for fifth, that one fifth wheel site. There, there's a couple sites out here. Well, there isn't that many, but this is a little hill coming up, so nothing I would say like, oh, I wouldn't do it. But it's definitely paved. It's not rocky, but then it switches over. See, right now it's about to switch over to rocky. But it's not crazy rocky. It's nothing extreme. Did a real good job though. Somebody didn't like the uh, circle and went straight through. <laughs> and then you go around the loop over here and then we go over to the boat ramp area. Don't understand. The boat ramp. The boat ramp area. It's where you can bring your boat and drop it off. Speed limit's 15 miles an hour. So I mean, it is kind of. It does get a little busy up here when me and me and uh, Molly were up here fishing. It did get a little busy. there and fishing on the banks up on the side over there if you walk along the side there's like a uh, a little edge over there that's really like the deepest side of it you got some good some good fishing over going over there I remember that the old man told me that and he was right too If you're if you're if you're into fishing and camping, this is probably like a real good spot for it. There's no playground or anything. Not really like 
kid friendly unless you're just gonna explore in the woods. That would have been kind of nice. You know, like all those big meadows and like a really large play area for kids to explore at. trailer parking and I'm pretty sure the boat ramp is down in there to drop your boat off that way. That is a camp, that, that's the trail to come down from the campsites. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. a really steep hill, though. Yeah, it is steep hill. Kind of get you get your heart running before you come down here. There's another, there's another trail to get to the other side of the, uh, the other lake too. It's a big lake though. Yeah, it is. We were, were over there is the handicap part of it. You used to be able to go around this way. There's a whole bunch of picnic tables over that way too, but you gotta walk in. We found our, our uh, lunch in. This is site seven. Really wide driveway coming in. Nice little camping spot where you just set up your tent right here. Set up your RV right here. I, I came, I pulled in and spun around right here. Little nice little rock area over here. Fire pit area. Little picnic area. signs on the table you can pause it and read what it says she's already got herself tangled you know, sage always does <laughs> well, any firewood can be collected on the ground dead or you know all that stuff it says on there, everything, all the dead trees, and you know, use that as firewood. There is no garbage cans. You know where to throw your garbage. You gotta pack it out. Um. Yeah, it's, I mean, there is no playgrounds, no swimming area, nothing like that. Just some fishing and and uh, you do boat stuff. But other than that, that's really it. But it's completely free. Um. In the beginning of the video, I showed you where it says all, you know, where call and all that and all that stuff. But to let them know what site. So you come in, you pick your site, what you want and everything. And then, you know, you go from there. And then, well, there's all different kinds of trails all over the place over here. All right, Sage, that's enough. I'll be right there. I'm just walking around.
my sidekick. I can't go anywhere without. <laughs> so. You know, all bathroom stuff. You know, you go to the bathroom. This porta potty's got to walk to, or you, you you can go bury it in the woods. So that's really it. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. Catch back to you on the way out. Hi. Well, that's the uh, what is that? The Pine Pitch or no? It's Moon Lake. It's Pine Pitch uh, Forest, right? I don't even know. Yeah, it's something like that. Pine Pitch Forest. I don't think it's Pine Pitch. I'm pretty sure the, the campsites are free. I think you have to call up, email them, you know, or something like that. And then they give you the permit and you put, you know, you print it out and stick it in your window kind of thing. But uh, I'm going to call later on to, just to verify everything and make sure that is legit what you're supposed to do. And then I'll, I'll end the video with the, the right information and everything. But other than that, that's really it. Have a good one. All right, let's try this again. I thought I was recording, but I took a picture and I don't know. But anyway, all right. So like I said, I was going to find out and make sure 100% what I was reading was true. And yes, it is true. Okay, and you got to go to this website to get the permit to camp there. All right. It's uh, dcnr.pa.gov. This is only information for the Pennsylvania area. I don't know about other states or anything like that. So I haven't checked it out or anything. So you go in there and you look for the, you know, whatever state forest you want to go to. Make sure it's a state forest. And this one with this one is the uh, Pinnich State Forest. So this is all the information in here. You know, go through it all, read it and everything like that. But what you want to do is go all the way down here, down to the, um, it says Pennsylvania State Site Map. This is pretty much the same information again and everything. Okay. Now this is like an interactive map of Pennsylvania and everything. All these little blue things are campsites. These are the free campsites. Okay. So we're looking for the pine pitch area. But if you go back here and you go to the... Oh, wait. I'm, I did it again. So we got to go into here. We'll have to we'll go over where we want to go. Click one of these, the Moon Lake ones. Because you got to know, like, uh, the section of it, the district part of it. This gives you a little description and everything like that. But you go in here and you click these little thing in the corner here. It doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't anything. But you click that. Ooh, click it again. And then you click availability. Okay. But then over in here, you want to click... This guide map over here because this tells you. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Make this a little bit bigger. This gives you all your information of all the different sections. We're in the 11 Pine Pitch area, but there's all different ones all over the place. You got to know that while you're filling up your application, you know what section and what what site and all that, so you get the right stuff. So. That's how you do that, so you know what section you're in. Alright, so then you figure out on here what site you want. There's no pictures or anything like that. You kind of like, I don't know, it is very crude and they don't really give you a picture of the site or anything. So we'll just say, uh, what site is this? It'll come up. It'll say um, Moon Lake 2, Site 2. Then you click this little thing in the corner right here like before. You click availability. Here's the the, um, the calendar. You can pick availabilities and everything like that. The yeah, address, phone number, and everything. I tried calling this number, and it went straight to a busy signal all day since I was there at the park trying to get information. So I wind up just I, I was just for hours trying to figure this out. So and then right here, when I click that, you can take this and it says State Forest Online Camping Site Application. This is your application. What you're gonna fill out with all your information and everything, the site, what site, you know, Moon Lake 2, what, you know, district, like, you know, the Pine Pitch area, 11, all that information. You can go back to the the campsite maps and all that to make confirm everything. You fill all this out and everything. 
And then uh, it says the two to three business days, they will give you a call back or email you, letting you know if you, you know, if you got the permit to, to camp there and everything. Uh, you could do no more than 90 days. See, it says applications will not be accepted more than 90 days in advance. Um, permits will not be issued more than seven days a night. So when you go to, to apply for one of these uh, campsites and you go there, the campsites are not 100% guaranteed. So that means kind of if somebody didn't fill out the paperwork like a normal person should do, and they just went there and camp, and it's kind of one of those, you know, first come, first, first come, first serve things. So it is what it is. So try to go there and try to pick. They, they ask you to pick a couple extra sites, just in case. I think one, or one or two extra sites, just in case. So, but that's how you do it. That's how you get the free campsite and like, like the application. You're not guaranteed to get the campsite either. So I mean, if you you fill it out and everything, and they they deny you for some reason, you're denied. But yeah. So I hope this helps and everything. So, you know, get out there and get lost and have some fun. Hope this helps. Later. <laughs>